Shukri Shafe, a former lawyer and judge, fled Ethiopia after being beaten and tortured during the 16 months he was imprisoned. In June, along with dozens of other Somali Ethiopians now living in Australia, he demonstrated against the visit of President Abdi Ile, the man he says personally ordered his arrest and torture. I did want people to know who is he, who is Abdi Ile. He told Lateline last month that within hours of the protest, three of his brothers were arrested back in Ethiopia, as well as his mother and sister. And it's not just me, more than 10 Australian citizens who participated in the June protest and their families were rendered up. Some still are in disappearance, some have been released, but live in total and complete fear. Human Rights Watch says at least 32 relatives of protesters were arrested in June. Two weeks after Lateline reported the story, Shukri Shafe says he received great news about his three missing brothers. They are out of jail, up to, like, according to my information since yesterday. So now they're good and uh, they are out of jail and they're safe and they're alive. Like, it has been six months from disappearance. So they were pale, they were thin, people are telling they were starving. Um, so, um, like all signs of starvation and mal malnutrition um, um, could be like seen from their faces and their body. They've been on the same clothes for six months, the same clothes that they were wearing the day they were arrested. But along with the good, he says, came some very bad news. My sister, which had been in jail for a month, have, have been rearrested. And at this time, it has been extended to her husband. So her and her husband were arrested together. Elaine Pearson of Human Rights Watch is pressing the Australian government to lobby Ethiopia for the release of all relatives of Australian protesters. Well, it's really disturbing that there are ongoing arrests happening right now in Somali regional state perhaps as a backlash um, against this report. And I think it makes it even more important that foreign governments put pressure on the Ethiopian government to make sure that all of these relatives of Australian citizens are immediately released. The Ethiopian embassy denies anyone's been arrested either in June immediately after the protest or since the late line report. It says Shukri Shafe's sister isn't in jail but at home. I will assure you she will not be arrested previously, also there is no arrest. So Shukri Shafe is lying to me. I, I, this, he is expressing that he can do that, but for me, what I can make sure you, that will not happen in our country. So Shukri Shafe is lying? So what, what we can say, if that fact doesn't exist on the ground, what is uh, the other way of saying that is, uh, he is not, I mean, uh, telling the truth. To protect his family, Shukri Shafe communicates via a third country. He says his information is accurate. I'm not surprised at that, about the Ethiopian denial. It's flat denial, it's template denial. The Department of Foreign Affairs told Lateline it would continue to seek advice from the Ethiopian government in relation to the relatives of those who protested against Abdi Ile's visit. Yeah.